Fuzhou 3008 Allure Plus vs Proton X70, who is king? With all comparison, I will not cover what both cars have in similar function. The Peugeot 3008 GT comes in 2.0 but currently not available in Malaysia and the closest rival to the X70 is the 3008 Allure Plus with sunroof and will be compare with the X70 Premium X. The Allure Plus and X70 both have 4 cylinders with 16 valves, both are fuel injection and turbocharged with Allure Plus on a smaller 1.6 engine versus a 1.8 and despite having a smaller engine it has a max power of 6000 rpm 500 more than the X70. The Allure Plus has a 6 speed transmission whereas the X70 is 7 speed. The Allure Plus also comes with paddle shifter which is not on the steering wheel so it becomes difficult to change gear as you make a corner. At 0 to 100 km per hour, the Allure Plus wins at 8.9 seconds with the X70 not far behind at 9.5 seconds. Fuel consumption is naturally better on the Peugeot due to a 1.6 engine but the X70 has a better turning radius of 5.5 over 10.7. The X70 has longer and better height dimension with the Allure Plus winning on width but all very marginal. X70 comes with 19 inch wheels and 17 inches on the Allure Plus. Fuel tank capacity is also better on the X70 at 60 over 53 liters but the Allure Plus wins on boot size at a whopping 591 liters over 298. On the exterior, we see the Allure Plus having a slight edge over the X70 with small features like LED sequential scrolling front indicator, acoustic laminated front windscreen and side mirror adaptation in reverse gear. Although both are pretty even out in the interior department, I'm leaning towards the Allure Plus for their iCockpit technology which is unmatched by the X70. Their media system is geared to current appeal with the likes of Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Google Map, ways to mention a few and I wonder why the new 2020 X70 built in Malaysia doesn't follow the norm and insist on adopting the limited China version. The Allure Plus also has a one-touch tactile piano switches that resembles that of the Lamborghini. One touch rear folding seat, two tier boot floor configurations, 12 volt input at the boot, eight way driver seat, and six front passenger. The X70, on the other hand, comes with air purifier system, front ventilation seat, six generous USB ports as opposed to just two on the Allure Plus. It also comes with eight speakers, two more over the Allure Plus, and a subwoofer from a reputable brand Kenwood. The Allure Plus is an OEM in house premium speaker. The X70 has a dedicated control for the AC whereas the Allure Plus requires you to fiddle with the display console. The X70 also has a slightly higher headroom on the rear seat but the Allure Plus probably has the deepest armrest storage on the market. The Allure Plus has all the safety features that comes with the X70 with added advanced grip control, normal, mud, snow and sand. It also has speed limit recognition and active lane keeping assistance which is more useful than just alerting the driver as on the X70. It has better resell value and the road tax are 239.70 ringgit cheaper than the X70 at only 120 ringgit per year. However, the Allure Plus has a small steering wheel and the entire leather seat are all black which looks very plain. Overall. The Peugeot 3008 Allure Plus is one of the sexiest SUV in the market with eye-catching aesthetics and the X70 doesn't come close but where the wheel turns is the pricing. Continental cars are all subjected to high import taxes in Malaysia which drives the prices out of reach for many and with this respect you could save 41,088 by going with the X70 and with the money saved you could literally buy another car. The Peugeot 3008 SUV has won 69 international awards, including the prestigious 2020 and 2017 European Car of the Year Award, Auto Trader New Car Awards 2019, International Engine of the Year Award 2018 and the list goes on so unless you can't afford 163,888 go for the X70. So who is king? The X70 wins hands down with its pricing but car for car, the Peugeot 3008 Allure Plus is unmatched.
my personal opinion both are kings and thus we shall split the crown equally. 